Hello friends, welcome to my channel, a channel for learning simple coding. If you find this video to be helpful, please like, share and subscribe my channel. In the last video we have learned how get static props is not supported in Next.js 13. And because of that, static site generation is also not possible by using get static props. How we can perform this by using fetch function that we are going to learn in this video. In my previous video of pre-rendering, I have explained that there are three types of rendering, static site generation, server site rendering and incremental static regeneration. So it is the first type here in this video, static site generation. So how we perform this coding in Next.js 13 that we are going to learn. In previous video, I have also explained that the name of static side regeneration has been changed to static rendering in Next.js 13 and above version. So now we are going to learn or we are going to cover these interview questions in this video. What is a static rendering? How static side generation and static rendering is same? What is the use of cache, force cache for static rendering and how to build the application for a static rendering? So first question is what is a static rendering? So static rendering means generation of a static HTML page at build time. Remember that generation of HTML static pages at build time means in our web sites there are certain page those are static in nature. Those value doesn't change at runtime means at client side those pages are not changed. Those are same static. So for fast execution of those types of page and for search engine optimizations also we do pre-rendering. So static rendering we do when we have such kind of pages those data are static in nature and we can generate those page at build time. So with the help of static rendering we find out those pages and we convert those pages into HTML pages at build time. That means on client request those pages are pre-ready and we can load without any modification those pages on the website. So such kind of things we call static rendering. So I have explained you static rendering. Now static site generation and static rendering. Both are same terminology in next year's 12 and before version we use a static site generation but in next year's 13 and above version we called it static rendering both are same just name have been changed and also implementation of those mechanism is also changed in older version we use get static props function for implementing this i have explained you that this function now generating error but now how to use this static rendering that i am going to explain and how to build the application also so for that we have this application in the last video i have explained that this function is not running same code i will implement using the fetch function for static rendering remember that but this is not working i have explained how it is not working in previous video if you have not watched those videos so far so you can search in my playlist now i am explaining the static rendering in this video for that my application is running like this and if I click on this static site generation I have this message also you see SSG I am creating here this is the same route SSG which I have created in my previous video here I have this page and here I will implement static rendering. So how to do static rendering for that we have to create a function so I say here export const and I give here get Cots because we have cots there this function and this is arrow function and here I make this function async also so I have to put async here because it's arrow function now I use uh, here data and I say fetch remember that so under this fetch I will use the same API and under this I paste this API like this then remember that if I am not passing any value then it's a normal fetch function but for static rendering we have to do like this you have to give extra parameter and that parameter is cache and here i say force cache remember that this parameter we have to put i have explained in the p 
PPT also that what is the use of this cache force cache that means we want to implement static rendering by using fetch function so we are using a fetch function but this time we are giving some parameter this parameter give the indication to the next JS compiler or to the next JS interpreter uh, that uh, we are using static rendering this time now after that when we get data so we have to put await also here uh, then I need to get the data so I say const q data cost data and I say await data dot json so in json format we have data uh, then I stick all the codes also so I say return I say q data dot codes so this type of information we have to return by this function then I have to use this function here remember and I have to make this also as a async and then I have to use here const and I say cots equal to get cots so all the quotations from this I get in this and this is the array now right now now I have to display this value so I will use it here for that I say like this I say cots dot map like this and uh, here I will use the arrow function and uh, this would be the notation and here I will have uh, the one single cot one at a time at a time this cot is coming then I take uh, uh, div tag so I say div tag here under the div I say key and key would be cot dot id uh, then I close this div tag close this div tag like this under this div I take link so link from the react so I say link here and then under the link I think it is import already yeah this is imported so under this link I provide the author name so I say cot dot author and this author information is available in this API then I need to put in this href so I say href here I have to put the link remember and uh, that link is my quotation that I have explained in my route to route passing information. So here we have a, another route there I am using search param and with the help of search param I am just reading all the codes those I am sending and one by one I will display all the codes in this component and how this is working I have explained in my video uh, in which I have explained route to route how to pass data from route to route. So I have explained how to use this component so please refer that also. So I am using this component for displaying my quotation one by one and one by one I am passing from here. So I say uh, here uh, one more parameter I need to pass I say path name and in this path name I have to pass the route. So this is the route first of all quotes so this quotation uh, then I have to pass query also query and here in query. I need to pass the information uh, that query is uh, I say uh, cots that cot is uh, cot dot cot remember that so that quote I am displaying here under this information and uh, we have the try to execute it so we have the error for map cot is not a map function means we are not getting data from this so what I do I have to put await here also I think that is the problem because it's fetching a data so it must to use await here also otherwise it would not send data now you see it is running perfectly so whenever I click on this I go to home but if I click on this the all the author's name is coming and whenever I click on any link and you see it will open the course route so we are passing parameter and we are displaying individually one by one all the codes like this you see everything is running now so remember that it, uh, it is the way to implement static rendering in Next.js by using force cache with fetch function so we are indicating here we are giving a requirement that we need a static rendering and these codes are not changing these are fixed remember that these authors are fixed and these pages also fix we are not changing at runtime so that means it's a static form of data so we can use it as a static rendering and we are just fetching data you see information we are displaying the information now and this is not working because it's a way to implement static site generation in 
next year's 12 and before version but in next year's 13 we have the this way to perform a static rendering now we try to build this page and check it is static rendering or not for that i close this application and once again i try to build it and you see that i say uh, npm run build remember that see this last question here how to make a static rendering build process so everything we have done static rendering i have explained both are same static site generation and static rendering both are same so i have explained you how they are same and what is the use of cache force cache i have explained in the coding also how to build this page and how to check it is a static rendering that i am going to perform here you see if i click here now i am making my application for production ready production ready means i can upload it on the web server for that so it's generating or building my application and after completing the process it will explain that this portion this route this route which i am using is a static site generation route you see now that this hollow circle means static html page generation this means server side rendering so we have implemented static rendering that means static site generation this one we have implemented now you see the page ssr means we are using this page for static site generation means static rendering remember that and this is the cot remember this this cot is server side rendering why because this page is generating because this is all about uh, static rendering but whenever i click on this it is event handling that means on the request this page is generate so it is not running right now because i have run the build process that's why it's not running because application is closed but remember that whenever i click on the link then the page is load and that page is load by the server that's why it's called server side rendering so this cot is working as a server rendering but the my coding which i have shown in this video that is ssg sorry ssg not ssr this ssg static side generation that is indicated is a static generation means all the pages which i have link here that is static side or static rendering so if i run this application once again so you will see that you see that again we have run the application and i click on this so this page is a static rendering remember that all the author's name all the information has been generated and whenever i click on this so i am using the event handling because i am clicking on it and next page is opening so this opening process is called server side rendering but this page is statically generated remember that all the pages has been generated statically because i have make a code and i have indicated to the next js that you have to use static site generation or static rendering on this and that's why i have explained you in build process also that this root is using static rendering so uh, all the questions uh, in this video i have covered what is static rendering how static site generation and static rendering is same what is the use of cache force cache for static rendering and how to build this for static rendering in next video i will explain you server side rendering now server side rendering name has been changed to dynamic rendering in xjs so we will understand server side rendering also in next video if you like this video please do subscribe thank you for watching this video mm -hmm.